shipping it through the radio signals. Like, as I move this antenna... No, I mean, like, you know, it, it, Raspberry Pi doesn't keep you safe, 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 safe. Like, I don't, I don't know what it's going to do that. Don't use electrons. I don't know. Like, don't use electrons. Don't be around a thing that has a microphone on it. I don't know. Like, there's not that. There's no... There's not. So the key is you get a thread model. And compromise can happen at any layer. The OSI model is pretty okay for helping you to understand what are the layers of security you got to deal with. Then you familiarize yourself with the range of, like, compromise available at each layer. Try to keep up with, like, the latest crazy hacks. Because then you understand the field of potential compromise. What's important is that you understand what's being deployed against you and why, and by whom. How much money are they going to spend on it? That's like the real main thing, is how much money is it going to cost to do this thing. People's time is money. Compute power is money. The deployment of various zero days is money. The reconnaissance needed to find the specific hack that can do stuff like compromise your HDMI cable. Compromise takes money. Whether or not it's in criminal or enforcement related compromise is kind of immaterial. Once the feds can do it, the criminals can probably do it too. So what you gotta really understand is how juicy of a target are you? The problem is large language models drive down the cost of compromise drastically. Things that used to require a person now just don't. So the state and criminals can compromise a whole new layer of people. And every actor is individually more effective. So now everybody kinda has to start thinking about this stuff again. Sorry, regular people.